Our first act is uh, going to be Ramsey. Uh, Ramsey has the number one series on Funny or Die. Tonight is his show number 39. Let's welcome Ramsey. Good evening. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Um, like Dan said, sorry. Um, like Dan said, um, I have a real, I have a web series, and I'm actually gonna come up with a new web series. It's called the What's Up Web Series, or reality show, where I'm followed around by a cameraman on the sidewalk in Republic, and if someone says What's up, I look up, I tell them what I'm looking at. The ceiling, a light bulb, a spider web, a sprinkler system, a ceiling fan. Um, so um, this is my fourth time performing. This is actually my cousin. And um, I always talk, talk about being Arabic. Is that, is that working? Yes. I always talk about being Arabic. And um, I have a lot of jokes about being Arabic. And I never really tell any personal stories, so I'll just tell like, a personal story about being Arabic. It's actually the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Um, I was I played soccer for seven years. I I, I could I'm I used to be, I, at this point I was uh, I haven't played for seven years, and you know in football in soccer in the Middle East it's called football. It's a big thing, soccer. And I was in the Middle East in this small town called El Hamam, and um, at my uncle's. And he turned, he converted his basement into a preschool. And I was with his four boys. And um, the, the soccer ball is yellow. And yellow in Arabic is asfar. And I was saying the ball was asfar, which is bird. So they were all laughing at me. And they kept saying, you know, kick the ball, kick the ball. And I said, no, because the oldest was 12. And I was like 26 at this point. And I, I just didn't feel like playing with a bunch of little kids. So, but they kept taunting me, and I said, okay, I'll kick it as long as you get out of the goal. So, keep in mind, it's been a long time since I played, and, um, you know, I, I kicked it with all my force, and the ball went sideways and hit the second oldest in the face, and he actually did, like, a flip. Um, and it, it almost felt like, like his head was the ball, because, like, I kicked it so hard, and it actually, before I even came in contact with the soccer ball, he was crying, and he stormed upstairs, and I had to follow him because I knew his, his dad was going to ask me a question. And he's like, Ramsey, what happened? And I was smiling because I was trying to, you know, like, um, make him chipper. And so that made him, more, that even made, him, made him even more mad that I was smiling. So um, that's the end of that story. Um, but <laughs> if you want to laugh, um, you have to open your ears. Um, it's time for me to speak on your behalf, and by God, you'll listen. By God, I wonder how much God would cost. You think he costs like a dollar if I were to buy God? <laughs> um, please laugh. Look. <laughs> Look, I won't force you. So, like I said, I'm Arabic, but I'm not a terrorist. Um, I'm actually um, content with all 11 muses. Um, you know, terrorists think that there's 72 muses. Um, there's actually only 11. The names are Calio, Cleo, Euterp, Irado, Inspiration, Malpoli, Nemocene, Polonia, Tersicor, Thalia, and Urania. <sighs> I breathe deep. Move in the setup! Uh, an abduction by three legged aliens and antlers. Uh, <laughs> um, so, for this next joke, could you pretend I'm African American? Or, I need you to pretend I'm African American. Better yet, pretend I'm Chris Rock, okay? Um, what did one cracker say to another cracker? I love French onion soup. <laughs> I'm gonna keep my Chris Rock invitation for this next one, too. What does President Abraham Lincoln and President Barack Obama have in common? Black people love them. <laughs> um, 
So I was reading the book of useless information, and um, one of the facts, which I'm sure nobody knows, but in Ethiopia, the country of Ethiopia, jobs are distributed among the public determined by how tall you are. So let me put that in perspective. That's a true story. I'm 5'4". Um, if I'm in Ethiopia and I find someone that's 5'5", five five, that means I don't have to work anymore. If, uh, if, I, if you have like $200 in your bank account, you can move to Ethiopia and retire, basically. <laughs> um, so unemployment is plaguing the nation and um, employees are crippled by grudges because uh, offices are cages like zoos and um, contagious cooties eat our brain. So um, the last time I was here, I asked this, this question, um, in this day and age, what's the root of all evil? I don't know if you guys remember the last time I asked what the root of all evil was, and someone said chiropractors. Traffic. <laughs> Traffic, what's the root of all evil? Anybody, what do you think? Money. Money and what you Spam. What do you say? <laughs> um, it's spam, unsolicited commercial advertisements. If they, um, if they call, I don't know why they call them courtesy calls if you're not happy that they called. And um, you think life gets easier after you become famous. I'm famous and life gets a lot harder. Like people will say that they're comedians and it's spam. And, you know, you get a lot more spam when you become famous. Um, so I'm gonna ask you guys another question. Um, would you let a scientist clone you if it was for free? Yes. Yes. No. yes. Yes. Um, well then look in the mirror. Um, oh. If I ever met Ramsey, if I ever, I'm Ramsey, if I ever met Ramsey, I bet he'd be friendly. There's no running from glass doors. And what I mean by that joke is, uh, I'm sure everyone here, is that Lisa? Yeah. Oh, sweet. I'm sure everyone here has ran into a glass door before, right? No. No, I have. No one's, no one's ran into a glass door, only me. You have? Oh, man. Yeah, I know. It's the worst. That's the worst feeling. So, uh, my last joke. Is, uh, as you all know, you guys are all eavesdropping, and <laughs> I think, um, but eavesdropping creates expectation, and expectations is when you compare mental images to reality. People are setting us up, man, we'll die proving it. We'll laugh in tandem and jump off the earth. Wow. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Please welcome to the stage. Brent Tinfish. Good afternoon, I'm Tinfish. Hi. You ever wonder why they call it a manicure? If the majority of people who get them are women? Jesus, being the miracle worker he was, should have changed the name manicure to womanicure, because the majority of people that get them are, in fact, women. <laughs> if Jesus was a woman, he'd be the most beautiful woman in the world. And the name manicure would change its spelling just for her. Hmm. We know her around the world as a, whoa, manicure. What's the difference between a burger and a bowling ball? About 10 pounds. What's the difference between a burger and a bowling ball? Kids can't eat bowling balls. Okay, one more. What's the difference between a burger and a bowling ball? Okay, have you ever seen a bowling ball the size of a burger? I think not. So my girlfriend broke up with me the other day. Oh, I can't say that one, sorry. My girlfriend and I decided we wanted to live together one day. 
then they always decide we want to do a dog. So I go to the local Petco and I go do a I go do a water and food dish about about yay high. Because you know I'm a man, I think we're gonna do a big dog. What does my girlfriend do? She comes home with this little itty bitty Pomeranian. <laughs> now that dog sees the water dish for the first time, he's like, well how the heck is this gonna work? So he goes up to the water dish, he's like, You know, naturally my girlfriend felt sorry for him, so she picked him up, put him in the water dish. You know, he's swimming around, maybe drinking, doing the, maybe doing the bath short every once in a while, doggy paddle. Then we found a problem. How does he get from the water dish to the food dish and back? So I bought a little plank for him to go over to the food dish. Now, apparently, at the animal shelter we got the dog, nobody ever told him that it's not smart to go swimming for these 30 minutes after you eat. So we go on vacation. When we get back, there's a dog laying belly up in the water dish. I mean, who's to, who's to say the dog didn't know that? It's not safe to drink like that. Do that. I think I messed that up. <laughs> I get you. <laughs> I'm done. It's a little bright up here, I'm gonna grab my glasses this time. Okay. <clears throat> what did one lighter say to another lighter? What? I feel a swift breeze coming. That's all I got. And bleh, bleh, bleh. That's all, folks. Thank you.